Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Plastic Bag by Ed Sheeran. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies, let's get stuck straight in. So I'm going to go over all the main parts, I'm going to go over the chords, the strumming pattern, and then there's this main guitar part which starts the song. And what we have is a bar chord starting on fret 10 on the A string. And what we do is build up a 10, 12, that's 12 on the D string. The barred finger takes over 10 on the G, 12 on the B string. And what we do, we play the those three notes there, so we're finger picking this. So the A string, D string, and B string. And then we go back to the D string. So that's 10, 12, 12, 12. Then we go back to the original 10 on the A string. And then that note there, is the B string, but instead of playing fret 12 with the little finger, we're letting the barred finger take over. And then we go back to the D string fret 12. Now that pattern of strings is going to copy all the way through whatever my left hand does on the guitar. So up to now we've got... So that's two times round. The second chord, that was a G major chord by the way, this second chord is an E minor chord. And what we're going to do is get this shape here. So I'm building fret 7 on the A string, fret 9, then I've got fret 7, then I'm going to have my 8th fret on the B string, but at the same time I'm going to have fret 10 on the A string because we're going to go back and forth between those two notes. So we have the same pattern of strings. Notice how I released my little finger to get to here. Release. Back on. Off. So the first two parts sounds like this. The third shape that we need is similar to the first. What we're going to do is go down to fret 3 on the... A string, which is going to be a C major chord, three, then five on the D string, bar the three on the next, then we have a high five on the E string that will resolve down to three on the E string. So you can see it's the same pattern as before, but this time the high note that changes isn't the B string, it's the high E string. Then we take that exact same shape, move it up two frets, up to D. This is now a D major chord. And that will get us through the main set of chords. Now, that is the finger picking version. We're now going to talk about the, the general strumming. So if you're not interested in playing the finger picking version, you just want to strum along, then this is the part for you. So, the start of the song has a G major chord which on the screen you can see is a 3, 2, zero, 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 and a 3 on the top. We now need an E minor chord, which is 0, 2, 2, and then zeros all the way down. The next and final two chords, C major, which we're going to play this version. So just like the G major version, we drop these two fingers down. Yeah, Ed Sheeran uses that a lot. And then we have D major, which is 0 on the D string, two, three, two on the bottom three strings. Now we can strum that in any way we want. However, what seems to work well for the actual track is this. Now what I'm doing is going down, 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 down. So lots of down strokes, but I'm accenting some of the parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and I'm doing that for every single chord. That tends to be um, how the live version of this song works. So those four chords will get you through not only the first verse, but then the pre-chorus. So that's three times round all together. We then get the chorus, which is E minor. Going up to G. D major. And C major. So E minor to G, D to C is what we repeat on the chorus. That is two times round. After that, we have lots of repetition. We play the main set of chords that I mentioned earlier, twice for the second verse and once for the pre-chorus. And then we have a chorus, the same as the first chorus, so lots of repetition. However, we then get to a middle section, which sounds and looks like this. <clears throat> which is A minor. 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, going up to the G major chord that we know, and then D major. Now the A minor and G share a bar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we've got a full lot of strums on D major. We then take those three chords and repeat them. After that there is then a pre-chorus and chorus which are exactly the same as the parts earlier in the song so that will get you to the end. Now if you're interested in getting the chord charts for this as well as the chords in the lyrics matched up then head on over to my Patreon page. For just a couple of dollars you can get songs like this um, on a handy PDF and it saves you from writing everything down and potentially making a mistake so feel free to check that out. If you found this video useful please like and subscribe that really helps out the channel and I want to say thanks to the people on the screen. Those are my active patrons. Not only do they get all the PDFs PDFs that I've mentioned earlier, but they get early access content for loads of other things as well as their name on the screen. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video.